Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Kosher Cheat Day. It is a Friday night. It is 7.07. I decided for Miller's Steakhouse Alehouse, I think it is. And um, re I got some pretzel. They're called beer pop pretzel. And then the, what I call it, sassy mound of something. I had it before, so I, and it was amazing. So I don't know what I, what I wanted to try first. Let's do the uh, mount here. It's, Basically, fries, cheese, and some chicken in there. Good stuff. Now this dinner took me like half an hour to decide what to eat. Like, I didn't feel like um, driving out. Uber Eats coupon. Well, that's why I have it. In case it run out of the coupon like the last time. I'm like, you have to do it today. Two options. Either Popeye's chicken. Or this one, so there was an additional coupon for Popeyes. Popeyes was really expensive for Uber Eats and then service fees and everything like that. And delivery fee, I'm like, it's actually cheaper to get this one. That's a little fun at the beginning. It wasn't my first day, I'm already busy my third day in a row. Little extra food. We have Thanksgiving next week. So the kids are gonna be off. Exciting, exciting. And I think I'm gonna be ordering them. Okay, I'm not gonna make it myself. Because price-wise, because I have this and prawn recipe, which is amazing, but a lot of work, a lot of ingredients, and I have another problem. Our fridge broke. Sunday, I believe it was. Amazing. And we, we get the water for the fridge, so I have to keep on buying water bottles and water bottles. Not fun, but um, for the recipe, you have to put the turkey in, uh, overnight in an ice bath. This broth, not going to work. We don't have an ice maker. I'm going to buy it, so we are going to have fun. For the next couple of days, we're going to be here. Bring up our, our Christmas tree. You're going to see it probably most like in the next video. But this video is recorded two days after the Nugget Challenge, so Nugget Challenge didn't work out. But ever since then, I'm like starving in starvation mode. I feel like hungry. No idea why. Thank you, McDonald's. Only thing that happened is I ate all the Christmas candy I bought at Aldi's, like the Ron Ginger Breads. I showed the last video, I ate them. So, two boxes and other stuff. Only good thing is my mom decided to say pack package again. The hardest decision for Thanksgiving this year is what pie to get. Pecan, uh, apple or pumpkin. And I think last year I saw Mac uh, McDonald's. Walmart had like a half and half cake. Half pecan, half pumpkin. So that might be the choice, but I really want apple pie for that apparent reason. I don't know why. But the kids don't like it that much. And I don't like buying the small ones because it's too much crust. I like more filling in it, so it's gonna be a lovely decision. Most likely, I'm gonna make the machete so I can fill. But I don't. I think I'm, I'm not gonna count for the calories. Not really because this is stuff too. But I think it's like 12, 13 pound turkey, mashed potatoes. I think two pounds gravy. Most likely, not popular if I don't do the real macros, but I can give it a try. For more fun. Well, this is a beer pretzel with a cheese sauce. Mmm. I guess what I don't like at Wendy's, a beer, so beer cheese sauce. I don't think they account for it anyways. The pretzel is 490 calories. I don't know about the pretzel. I even think uh, Auntie Anne's, I've always forgotten the name. Were it Annie or Auntie Anne's? Anne's? Or is it Aunt Annie's? I always mix it Annie and the IE part at the end up. It has the front or the back. But it tastes better than this. But I grew up in Germany, so. I question very good pretzels over there. Hard to compete. I wanted to eat a little bit earlier. I still have to edit the video for Monday. The decision Popeyes, Miller's Ale House. Happened literally half an hour. Like, I went back and forth, back and forth. Like, I'm going to take this one. Oh no, I changed my mind the next second. I was like, I don't care. I'll take the Miller's. Mm, microphone check. One, two, one, two. And it's on, yes. Now my Costco haul, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna eat all of it, it's five, uh, one pound, five ounce, 600 grams, lint, then door. If you want to know what, what is in there, you can look at it real quick. You can pause it. So it's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, 60% extra dark chocolate, and milk chocolate with caramel. I don't think I'm gonna eat all of them, but we will see. You never know. So this one is the white chocolate, let's see. Put all of them out. Most important part, caramel, 
chocolate with caramel and white. So gold is white. It's okay. I didn't know what still. Uh, caramel's not. Okay, white is okay. Better. The reason why I opted for this one. So if I don't feel like it, I can stop and I can account for it because they have like three balls, uh, 230 uh, calories. So when I feel like it, I can count it out easy, easy, easy. And by the way, I thought about it the other day. I still have the, the sea salt caramel things I had the one time I did the what was it, two pounds. I said I'm going to give the kids. <laughs> Never did it. I still have them. Never had the chance. I still decide what to eat for breakfast tomorrow. Donuts. But it really depends on the weather too. If it's raining and raining and raining. We actually want to go somewhere tomorrow morning, but if we don't, it's gonna be harder. I was thought about trying out a new donut place or a different donut place, but I don't know if we can make it or not. More than four servings behind, so 12 balls. So I got, I don't want to overdo it. I'm feeling satisfied with it, what I ate. I would rather want to eat something else tomorrow. I don't want to go to bed to full. Like always, you guys know that. I sleep on a full, full stomach like that. Not fun. And that would be like a calorie challenge, but I don't even think I'm going to be able to do that. I think I commented on the, on the other day. I don't think like 25,000 calories, like uh, somebody suggested one time to me. I don't have it in me, so. I don't train for that stuff, it's just supposed to be fun stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to do it anytime soon. So this time it's 7.28 and I'm already out and I see breakfast. Maybe donuts, maybe new donuts place, maybe we're gonna have Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know, we will see. Depends if the Uber Eats coupons still work or not, so. I mean, that's also a factor, cause I still have like one or two coupons for left, but then it expire like fairly fast. And if people use it up, they're gone. We will see you. You saw it in the thumbnail, like I always say. Good morning, at least for me. For you, it's a couple of seconds from the last uh, meal. It's already 9.36. Uber Eats coupons still work, so I ordered first watch. I'm sorry to my mom and my sister. They don't have it in Germany. They'll love it, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Why not, why not, so I decided to make some little bit uh, lower, cheaper, as far as calorie goes, a little bit more fun, putting the stuff in that I like. The Miller ate out yesterday, first watch that I love. Maybe lunch, I'm gonna get a pizza from the place that I love. Dinner, I don't know, maybe get some donuts or something else, I don't know yet. We will see it start out. But they forgot the jelly, I think, for the bread. I don't have any. Give me a second. No, no jelly. Amazing, great, no jelly or peanut butter or anything like that. You win some, you lose some, I guess. What well, I'm going to get some jelly, <clears throat> some of the kids' jellies. Here we go, I got some jelly for the bread. I'm not going to account for it because it's supposed to be oh, yeah, I think an account from the first watch website. So, why? Those couple of calories, who cares? I was looking forward to that jelly bar. Like yeah, we I might be we might be doing something this week. Hope we get all the videos edited in time. If it works out, kids are in the room right now, so they don't hear me. Now, the turkey I really want to do. I don't have enough fridge space now with one fridge broken, so I have to see if I can get that done. Worst time and getting water is problematic too. And paper towels because some stores limit you the water you can take if you imagine i drink a gallon of water at least a day i could drink water you have to go shopping a lot we get at the time no paper towels i have enough toilet paper still but buy it at costco so and then buy double buy the wrong one for the but scots like it's like one ply I don't like it that much, so I have to use it up in between. I buy the regular one, but paper towels, people, I don't know what you do with it. Like when I need it, I don't shrug up on it, I can't buy it. And that's the only thing I don't buy at all these paper towels because they're like really hard and not, not, not that good. At least here in the US. 
the daily problems. See, I really wanted donuts, but I want donuts later. I don't know if I want to buy a dozen. That's the problem with it. Because it's so much cheaper to buy a dozen than buy a regular. And a regular one costs like $1.50, $1.90 from Duncan, and a dozen is $10. So, if I buy six, I have a kiss one from for kiss each one uh, for me like couple. Cheaper to buy a dozen. If I buy a dozen, I have to eat more. So I don't have I don't have it in in me. So because I, I told you guys, oh yeah, I was my they take me fourth cheat day in a row. I had Wednesday, Thursday, and then yesterday I started this cheat day, and then today. So I feel like each time you plan something, it's raining. For each week, guys. Right? Well, let's have some uh, chocolate chip pancakes from them. I really felt that pancakes. I want decision at either this one. I want to go to McDonald's, the breakfast platter, but I don't like the sausage stuff that much. But it was buy one get one. See, I told you guys when I don't need it. It's uh, or, or when I have stuff in the kitchen, I don't, didn't feel like going out there. Um, it's buy one get one. It never works out as far as last week. I wanted it. Could have done it and. They didn't have it on sale. There's not gonna be enough syrup. I'm gonna add syrup. I'm gonna account for the extra syrup. I think it's good, but I think I should have gone with regular ones. Like, I think I just prefer the regular without much stuff in there. I will, once I ordered it, I just went on the first uh, watch website and I thought I have like special holiday edition ones, but you can't order it through Uber Eats. So, kind of, I don't know. Only the bad side if you have coupons through, through, through a website. You, can, you don't get the special edition ones. I think something with cinnamon. But there's two pancakes, not just one. College days. Now I actually have cinnamon flavor in here. Funny. Maybe I got the, they gave me a little bit of a special edition. I didn't clean up the critter right, but um talk about college days, undergrad. But I went to a smaller college. I don't think we was. I think we were like 2000 students only. Was 2000 was more, I don't even know. But it's fairly small, not, not a big university. But it was, was a good thing, because everybody knew everybody, almost everybody. That if we lived on campus, you knew almost everybody. At least from seeing, not like train high and stuff like that. But especially people kind of knew me. It was the only German guy on college, in, on campus, so unique. But it was kind of a fun time. That's the benefit of going to a small college, at least for me, because you made a lot of friends real fast. Have fun. Um, if, if you're a national student, at least, or a German, and you're really good in your classes, all the teachers and all the stuff knew, know you. So, the funny story about it. I don't know if you. I don't know if you're a US or know how it goes like as a uh, sign up for classes sometimes <clears throat> they're full and you're like waitlisted yeah i had a friend i wanted to get into the one class he was waitlisted so he went to the the um, department chair for that field and tried to get an exception yeah i went with him <laughs> the bird the dean saw me. I'm like, okay. Are oh, you friends with him? Yes. So he got in right away. So benefit. Like people are nice and everything like that. And then of course it also helps if you're friendly with everybody. Like I was friends with all the cafeteria staff. That was fun. Like and sometimes when you get well, early in the morning, because it's smaller, nobody was there, because people sleep in. I know college days, I was sitting with you, talking to you. And sometimes you got free stuff, <laughs> got extra stuff. They make stuff fresh for you. Always beneficial, like, I think. I have a lot of great people. I even was driving some, uh, uh, some of them home uh, a couple of times. I broke down and stuff like that. So well, it was a good time. College was fun. Of course, I have to get some Kinder. Stuff, choco fresh. 
A little bit harder to get, I think, in the US. Uh, refrigerated, so if you find like a grocery store, a European store, you have to see if they have, have it even. Target has a lot of Kinder stuff, in case you're interested. They have Kinder Santa Clauses. If you ever had it or you have problems getting it, go to Target, they have a lot of stuff. Done, done, done. Like, as I said, I'm making a smaller breakfast, maybe I can eat a little pizza and stuff like that. Let's make, make sure I'm not overeating. So, 9.53, I am out for now. I'll be back, hopefully, with the pizza if, if, in case it doesn't rain. We want to go somewhere anyway, so let's see if it works out. Welcome, welcome, welcome back for an unplanned land, lunch, lunch, I can't even talk, like, was well, supposed to be my favorite pizza place, but then open, so I drove past it, so go back there, so I'm like, I want to eat some pineapple, and chocolate, make it, it make, I've decided to make it like a fun day of like fun stuff I like, so let's do this one, the reason why I have it is I ordered the um, turkey for, for Thanksgiving, I think it's 1.25 pounds of um, uh, uh, pineapple. Can you eat, eat the inside? I don't think so. Can I show you my nah, you can't. Well, it's not gonna be calorie dense cheat day, but it's gonna be a cheat day. And I don't know, might be two more meals. I don't know. Depends the pizza. It's gonna be shortly. Did I show the time? I don't even know. If I didn't, I'll show it again. I'm like out of it. 3.26, grab the pizza, so in 20, 30 minutes I have to try again, get the pizza, they open at 4.30, I don't know if I can order it in advance, so get it at 4.30 or I have to get it at 4.30, so half an hour try it, not 20, 25 minutes try it one way. I have some chocolate, 250 grams of whole hazelnut, why not, it's good stuff. Having, having some food in there. Probably going to look forward to the pizza. I don't want to fill up too much because I really want the pizza. My main part that I want, so. It wouldn't be a casual cheat day if everything works out, so. As you guys know, all the stuff that doesn't work out. The pizza didn't work out. Donut, I really want a donut. So we stopped by Dunkin' Donut. We had like four flavors left, like pumpkin, jelly, and Boston cream, which I like to try in the Boston cream, but I really wanted only like one donut. Yeah, I wanted to pay more, but I want apple fritter, so I didn't have anything. Like, next was at my house, and then we didn't stop at a second location. I'm talking a little bit less because I have on my mind to pizza. As I almost said pizza is done. No, the chocolate is done. I'm just in my mind like with the pizza, like so I'm not talking a lot like I mean I really want it at this point. I was looking for it for the whole time. Messed up the day after. I think they're closed like Oh, let me see. I don't, not gonna lie, maybe at 2 for lunch service and then it open up at 4.30 again. So and I totally messed out and I called like at 2.30 or something like that. 2.15, totally messed out on that part. So if you're late, you're late. It's 3.35, gonna leave like in half an hour, 34 minutes, I'm gonna be back. Hopefully I'm gonna be back for another meal afterwards. I want burger, fries, either Five Guys or The Loop. Making the fun sheet day smaller, but I don't know at the end. And later, as always, stuff takes time, stuff that takes time. It is 5.25 now. Got the pizza. Got an icy. Wawa's had this, they call it sweet. Cream cheese, pretzel, I had it before. I said, this cheat day's gonna be lovely stuff from previous cheat day videos. Look at all my old, old videos, you're gonna see some of the stuff I like. And I wanted a donut thing. Or apple fritter, so I got one at Wawa. Never had it, but I want one, so can't be that bad. I have it here, so let's do the sweet cream cheese stuffed pretzel first because the pizza is already cold. I got cream in here, it's nice. 
had a fun sheet there. Now I have to think a lot. Now we have to push it back in case I want something else. That's part of the fun of the cheat days. I said, I don't plan ahead. I have a good coupon way in advance. Oh, my birthday, you kind of see the uh, birthday coupons. It falls into place. My favorite play, St. Louis style pizza. Yeah, I'm talking about St. Louis, my college days. I have good pizza. They actually sell the, they call Emos, it's a, a chain over there. Um, I said over the internet, you can buy a frozen in case you want to try it, but if you love the pizza or you don't like it at all. And the frozen pizza, it costs a little bit of money. I'm scared of ordering it. I don't know, a lot of money. Luckily here in Jackson, we have a, have a guy that does it the same way. There's a special cheat, I forgot the name of it. There's a special mix of it. I, li I like living in St. Louis, except winter time. I'm used to snow from Germany, but I'm not a big fan, so Florida is better for that. I liked it. The funny part about it is in college, like everybody was like, oh, we're moving out of St. Louis, moving out of St. Louis. Nobody did, hardly anybody. I went to see California and stuff like that, but too expensive to live. And travel plans a little bit, not, not a lot. Not a lot right now, budget-wise as well. But who knows, I might be traveling soon within Florida. All my social media gonna see it or not. I might be talking about it if it works out in the end of this video because I got lucky and ordering the turkey pack. Oh, oh yeah. Well, they have different packages. And the only package I wanted was the last one left, so I got lucky. That's gonna be part of our Thanksgiving. I'll have to see what we're we gonna do the cookies or not this year. You know, I have a tradition. Kids and I, we always pick together the uh, birthday cakes. We always do like. Christmas cookies, but a little different this year. By the way, it's pep only pepperoni on here. I haven't even checked Black like, Friday stuff this year. I want to, I know a lot of like stores do early, early Black Friday stuff. I don't think any stores can be open it. I don't think I'm gonna have the crowd thing going on. So now, the apple fritter time. So let's see. This thing has 410 calories. In store they said it had 420 calories. So <clears throat> now they have it individually wrapped. Got all the stuff and they actually put the, all the um, nutrition facts on the back so it's easy to put it in. But let's see how it is. So I am done, as you guys can see. <clears throat> I'm trying to get back maybe with another meal, I don't know. I have to see, I don't know. So everything got pushed a little bit back because of me messing up with the pizza order, but yeah. There's all the time now? See, I'm always forgetting. Six or eight. Trying to get a burger and some fries in. To finalize this crazy daylight. That's what stuff I like. Either it's gonna be a five guys or the loop, the local place. I like it. Why not? Why not? The only reason I, what I didn't buy, what I wanted to buy the place, they have a gooey butter cake from uh, St. Louis. They have it there too. I make it a lot of sure, but I mean, price-wise, it was a little bit too steep. I'm like, why, why, why not save the money and get get some burgers for dinner? Budget, budget, budget. So I'm gone for now and gonna be back after the damage for uh, hopefully another another meal. Welcome, welcome for the last meal, last meal, my ambitious meal, which I don't think I'm gonna be finishing, at least those two items. Two burgers from The Loop. Uber Eats came through this weekend with the coupons, I'm like, give into the cra uh, cravings, uh, free delivery as well, I waited for that, otherwise it would have been some other place that, uh, some other options, so, at least what it is, I'm gonna enjoy them. As you guys saw in the video, or the thumbnail, that's how it looks like. Bacon, barbecue, some onions on it. And it's still warm. Now, should they show the time? I forgot. See, I'm forgetting that lately. I just always show the time so you guys know how long does it take, like 20 minutes to eat the stuff. 9, 36. You guys have an idea when I speed through it. Because lately, with me talking a little bit more, I speed a little bit faster through it. Save on video time. 
one would have been good enough, but I had to get to the total of the coupon. I didn't like any of the other options. I mean, have pizza. Oh, he had pizza. Dessert didn't look that great. I don't want to get a shake because I would have gotten a shake. I would have gotten. I get something else. I'm like, why not? We have two burgers. Hope it works out. Stomach capacity wise. That has been fairly great cheese plate, except maybe the chocolate and early or yesterday. Too much of the same thing. You guys know. Mean flavor and fatigue, the same was with the nugget challenge. Don't like too much of the same flavor. Of course, people don't gonna like. No, it's not another 20,000 calorie challenge. Or 19. But it was a great cheat day for me. And the pineapple was amazing. I was hitting the spot right there. Sounds funny, but more of a cheat treat for me is pineapple. Yeah, I don't want that piece of the onion. Reason why it's so sweet. That's the whole sweet uh, sweet day. Cheat day stuff. You just eat, have fun, eat what you want. If it's healthy stuff, go to talk healthy stuff, doesn't matter. Whatever you crave. That's it. Say like pancakes. I got them in also. Pancakes is a thing, I mean, I, think it's, I don't think pancakes are something special, special, unless it's like special flavor like the Danny's ones though. But did I have cinnamon toast? No. I forgot what it was. No, that was about it because I put the special seasoning in it, but other than that, you can hardly mess them up. You can make them at home as well. But I just like this, some of the stuff like, first push the so the trish, they call it the trish, I'm not even talking more. The tr traditional, that's what I like. Eggs, the potatoes, toast. You don't have to go crazy out and have like whatever. Simple stuff. Only thing I wouldn't order in a oatmeal. <laughs> Which is my, I've been eating it. I mean, except lately with the cheat days, the last year, the fat, when I fast afterwards, and then that I was eating oatmeal every single day for like five years, four years, three years, five years, I don't know, roughing on, nothing around there, so. But to keep um, stuff simple, just have oatmeal with protein powder. You can, that's how you flavor it up. What I do, stevia, if you go to Costco, they have the stevia, now they have the, what's it, sugar in the raw, something in the raw, whatever, the same thing. I use four packets of that stuff, cinnamon, and uh, one scoop of protein powder for, for flavor. You can, whatever protein powder is your favorite, I found my favorite, so. The reason why I say favorite is, and fast protein powder. Some friends are bad. Some do the call amino spike. Where they put aminos in there so that you think you have more protein in there than you actually have. They have less. But the main part is digestion. I know if you guys use protein powder, you, your body digests certain things better, others less, like gas, and stuff like that. Though I found the brand that works for me. And I spend extra dollar and get isolate. As digestion wise, it's way better on, on my stomach. And for me, as honestly, I don't actually have to take protein powder because I'm eating a lot of protein. Flavors, my goal for protein powder. Of course, if you have a lot of hunger problems, and if you try to use it for, I was about to control your hunger, I would go for casein instead of protein. I whey protein for that matter. I'm talking about whey. Digest is lower, but I don't have the problem. I I'm do better zone. I think I was say before. One thing I will never eat. Broccoli. I can't eat that. 
The other thing is that I eat a little bit nowadays, but not necessarily that much um, is cauliflower. I mean, I use cauliflower rice, mix it with real rice to give it a little bit more volume. A little trick for that part. But I kind of do cauliflower by itself as well. But it has a part of it has another reason because I used to eat it, but then I had to eat it with like an ant. She forced, to eat, forced me to eat like a lot. I had to finish your plate type of thing, you know, the old generation. Since then, uh, can't do it. Can't do it. You know, like certain items, like we just can't do. We have this, like, like I told you guys before, it was the Nathan uh, hot dogs like things. Like I had a bad experience with it one time. Ever since then, I can't. I just associate the taste of them with like a bad experience. So I can't eat them at all. I mean, that, I don't. Oh, that's just me. I have some gummy bears. Why not? You guys know I love those things. I don't have any other other ones left. I have a package cop should be coming in any day. That would have been my favorite other things, but I, as I said, I, don't, I wing my cheat days. And so I'm gonna have this. Takes a little bit more chewing, so less talking, I guess. I'm still not done um, editing the video that comes out in two days. One of those weeks that I have lately a lot, but. I mean, actually, all, all both burgers, which I'm surprised, surprised. I mean, I might change it. You guys know how it is. I flip flop all the time. <laughs> I really feel like ice cream, but I almost bought new ice cream today at Target. At Publix, we ordered the turkey. Grocery store, in case you're not here. I'm from the south. But I'm like, okay, we have to pick up pizza. Um, and stuff like that when, when Friday's pizza place was open and it's gonna melt. Plus, all of the ice cream had like freezer burn, but like covered in, in um, covered in ice from outside. The flavor, I'm like, I don't want that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nice. Oh, taking a short break. <laughs> Got to fast forward for a little bit. I spit on the inside of my lip. Oh, it's bleeding. Oh. Luckily, nothing sour. <laughs> oh, well, I just thought of. Yeah, we are going to be the people <laughs> that have to talk about stuff in the future. Uh, like. Like after you know, <clears throat> everybody who went for World War One, World War Two, Great Depression, could talk about stuff. After we talk about the current situation, it's gonna be our talk. I can see myself like sitting somewhere. Oh, back in the day, remember that. And then it's gonna be like, I don't know, Alan, the is gonna be like that, but maybe their kids gonna be like, oh, not again, not again, and that's another story. <laughs> Mm. 9.58, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. I really want to eat it, I could eat it, but I'm not going to eat it. And the reason why is, as you always know, it's already late, 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 late. Full stomach going to bed. Nah, this is going to be horrible sleep. I don't know if you guys ever ever done that or stuffed yourself like too much. You're going to have a horrible, you're going to wine turn and everything like that. I'm a side sleeper to begin with. So being on the side, it's not fun. It would be worth it, it would be like sleep on my stomach, I think. Now, I don't think that would be possible, but I want to enjoy my night. And as I said, cheat days. Uh, for fun. Maybe I, one of these days I'm trying to do the 25,000 calorie challenge in a day, but I don't think I'm going to. It's, it's poss possible for me anytime soon. As I said, I explained earlier. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? Never say never. It's one of the things. So I'm going to be wrapping up the video now. As you guys are going to see the damage, the total damage for the whole cheat day. It's going to be a little bit less. But it was a fantastic, fun cheat day. <laughs> I won't say fun first, so the fun, fantastic cheat day. 
Yeah, with good stuff, good stuff. So let's see what next cheat day is going to be like. Ah, yeah, I, let's see how the plans work out. Might be... <clears throat> oh, next cheat day is... I already know it. It's Thanksgiving next cheat day. What am I talking about? All the what plans. I, I'm already talking about afterwards because there are other plans going on afterwards. Well, whatever. <clears throat> so you guys will f find that out when the video comes. I'll just ramble on to it at the end again. So guys, thanks for watching so far. As I said, it's gonna be damaged than my usual talk, physique, whatever. And a little bit shorter because it's gonna be a longer video once again. And end of the video time, physique and everything like that. My little talk, my spill of the video. So let's start out with the weight right before my first bite at 199.3. Getting up there, getting up there again. So at night I was at 212, so gained almost 13 pounds. During that cheat day, that shows you the water weight, the water weight. Normally, let's go with that day one, 208.7. I would fast that day. It doesn't work out, doesn't work out this week. And I'll give you a little hint of the following weeks as well. So. Day two afterwards, I came in at 207.1, so of course I'm gonna lose less weight because I'm not fasting and I'm not even eating my mains, I'm eating way more. It's basically cheat weeks from now on. Day three afterwards, I came in at 204.1 for three pounds gain, and then day four afterwards, I came at, in at a lovely 201.5, but I am really not fasting, I'm just eating what I want which is like four to 5,000 calories at least, most like a little bit more every single day. Having fun, having fun, having fun. This one was a great cheat day with a lot of like goodies from the previous cheat days, like stuff that I liked. Throwing in some extra stuff, trying some stuff like the pretzel bite, I didn't have that, but I felt like pretzel bite. The um, sauce wasn't that great, so I don't know. But some goodies, goodies, goodies and good stuff. Hope you liked it. Keep it a little bit shorter because it's really late, late, late. I'm running late. You will see in the next two cheat day videos why. A lot of busy stuff going on, so editing uh, everything a little bit later than usual. That's why the music is uh, not even going high, low, high, low, because I would have taken extra work and I wouldn't have made it on time for this video to be released at 8 a.m. I hope you still like it. If you do, you, you can like it, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I would appreciate that. As well, you can follow my social media. You would have already seen why I've been so busy. It's uh, always a benefit if you follow me there. So thanks again for watching, spending your lovely time with me, watching my video in that time. I just really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, as always, you're gonna see a sneak preview and I'm out. Welcome, welcome everybody to our Thanksgiving cheat meal. It's gonna be a lot of